today I'm showing you all the weapons in the game. Going to be starting with the ones you don't obtain in the store through purchase. Going to be explaining how you get these weapons. At the end of the video, I'll show you uh, some of my favorite weapons currently in the game. There will be more weapons added to this game. It's already been confirmed, data pulled, and all that. Not going to get into all that. We'll see uh, what actually releases, but. Um, you can go check out Twitter feeds and stuff like that. There are a couple interesting weapons potentially on the rise. And by potentially, I mean basically definitely. But anyway, let's get into all these weapons. So, we got the AM-16 Grupa, which is an automatic burst rifle, high on weapon switch, high on stability. You can burst fire it as well. You can tap, tap, tap it. Or you can let it uh, rip. Letting it rip isn't that fast, but um, it it hits. Next up, we have the Kramer assault rifle. Got very good stumble chance, especially if you add on mods with the stumble chance. Uh, this thing does get a very good chance to stumble with a base 21 stumble chance before all the additional stumble chances are added in. Next up we have the L36 Halberd. I forget if this one is in the shop. I'm just going to show it off real quickly. Um, you get extra fire rate. It's a very fast fire rate. Assault rifle. Less of an ammo pull than the pulse rifle. By the way, the Grupa has less of an ammo pull than its counterpart or other burst rifle in the game. The M4183 burst rifle. Uh, this one is obtainable in the shop. I'm not going to show that off. I'm not going to show uh, the scout rifle, but I'll show you um, this M4283 sniper rifle, the more powerful sniper rifle, with uh, some bonuses. You'll be one, even without the bonuses, you're one body shotting uh, runners on intense. Um, it's a pretty powerful rifle. Uh, personally, I like it better than the other one because of the damage, a little bit less ammo pull, but. Then we got a really nice DMR, the Twilight, at very high rate of fire. Good stability. If you need to look at the stats, I know that one was a little fast. Just uh, go back and pause it. I'm just going to bring this up for a couple more seconds for you. Uh, the m 468 I think this one is in the shop. I'm just going to leave this up for a couple seconds. Next up, we have the double barrel shotgun. This uh, kind of feels like you're not even reloading. It reloads so fast, especially if you put some reload perks on it. It's fairly hard, too. Some people like it better than the pump. Some people like the pump better than it. Next off, we have the heirloom standoff shotgun. Uh, I forget if this one is obtainable in the shop. Uh, just going to show it off for a few seconds. Next up, we have the LEM MP11 Storm Surge. This is a burst fire SMG. Uh, pretty good stability. It keeps good accuracy. Like, it's not hard to control the recoil at all. Then we have a lot of fan, fan favorites, the pump shotgun, because of how hard it hits per shot. Good reload time, and the bonus giving, uh, with a couple shots, you can give like 4.5-ish extra damage from all sources for 3 or 5 seconds. I think it's 5 seconds from the team, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one, I'm pretty sure that's in the store, so I'm not going to go over that. Next up, um, the Type 2 1 Tactical Shotgun is, I believe, also in the store. Next up, we have my favorite. I know I said I would tell you my favorites at the end, but a little spoiler. Um, this is my favorite shotgun, uh, especially for the Gunner class, the Type 76 Auto Shotgun. And if you watched my Gunner bit video, I'm going to put a pink comment up. I didn't have this access to this, didn't know it existed. And yeah, it's just an absolute beast allowing you to fire like 45 rounds with your ability, not even extended. Um, 
good reload time, good fire rate, insane fire rate with the uh, overclock. Uh, next up, we have the Type 99 Incinerator Flamethrower that is in the shop. Pretty cool that they put a flamethrower in the close quarter weapons. A little bit of spoiler, there are some interesting weapons on the rise. Next up, we have the X43 Barrage Bacchetti SMG. I believe this one is also in the store. Not really going to go over that one. Next up, we have the Kramer 50 caliber Magnum. Pretty powerful. Also, starting weapon. Not going to go over that one. Then we have the Kramer short barrel, which is kind of like a mini shotgun, a little mini automatic shotgun. Very interesting weapon. It does okay damage close range. You really do have to be up close to use it. Um, other than that, it's just a little automatic shotgun. I found it fun to use. I wouldn't really call it ideal, but it was fun. Next up, we have the M10 auto pistol, which I think is the store uh, auto pistol. In any case, uh, pretty good high rate of fire. If I remember correctly, the recoil on it is like really only manageable at close range. Or that might have been the rapid response. All these automatic fire pistols, for the most part, um, besides the riot ones, are not that manageable at mid-range. And the riot guns aren't ma manageable really at mid-range either. At least you're going to miss the most of your spread. Is what I'm saying. Next up, we have the Twin Hammer Hand Cannon Burst Pistol. Uh, this one is also in the store. I'm not going to really go over this one. Next up, we have my last to master gun that is currently available to unlock the Type 78 Burst Pistol. Um, it's kind of a counterpart to uh, the Type 95. What is it? Type 95 combat pistol. This one fires burst. That one fires a uh, single. If I had a pick, I'll tell you right now, it's the Type 95 combat pistol. I don't know why, but I just feel like this shreds dudes faster. Like, when I want to attack a big dude and I really uh, spam that trigger, I can fucking really go in with this Type, 99, type 95 combat pistol. Like... It hits so hard when you spam that 18 shots and you're landing like 14, 15 plus in the weak spot. You're, you're just doing so much damage for the technician or the doc. I, I really like that pistol. But the Type 78 Burst Pistol, it's not bad. It puts in pretty good damage. I, I'm not sleeping on it. I'm just saying I like the Type 95 Combat Pistol better. Um... We have the smart gun, also in the starting weapon in the store. I'm not going to really go over that. Next up, we have the M12 RPG launcher. This is kind of like the double barrel, but if you haven't experienced the double barrel, it has a one capacity magazine, but the reload time is fairly quick, uh, especially for an RPG. So it kind of feels like that if you had to fire three shots, you're firing three shots almost as fast as the other RPG that has a capacity, magazine capacity of three, but you're doing more damage. And that explosion radius goes in, oh, I cannot talk right now. The explosion, explosion radius is really nice, plus the 25% chance to deal an additional 30, uh, 75, wow, sorry, thermal damage from the for coffee over time is really nice. I've played with all the launchers, this is the one for me. I like the M12 RPG launcher at the moment. Definitely the three smart gun RPG launcher Vulcan. And the Vulcan very well might get nerfed. The fire damage right now is just ridiculous. You can instant kill uh, somebody in intense just like you can with uh, that M12 uh, rocket launcher. If you use it in intense, just be extremely cautious. Um, I've used that rocket launcher. I fired 1,000 plus shots with it. I've only got a friendly fire hit once with it, but it did 61,000 damage, 1,500 to zero health on dude. So 
Yeah, you will basically instant kill people. My friend uh, was pinned by the stalker on the board, and do flamethrower stalker trying to unpin him, like, and kill them. Like, that simple. You torch a dude, they're dead. So, just be careful with those two weapons, really any of the launchers, but anyway. Next up, we have the M12A1 launcher. I believe this one is in the shop. Not going to really go over that. Next up, we have the M94 Impact Grenade Launcher. I think this is the one not in the shop, um, but in any case, I'm going to go over both a little bit. I really, if I had to pick one, I'd pick the Impact la Grenade Launcher. I mean, I picked neither one of them, but this one at least explodes on impact, so it's very easy to actually let your explosions go off where you want to. Versus the M95 Grenade Launcher, which bounces and then explodes. Unless you get a direct hit. So like when you stun a dude as a demolisher, you could easily put a bunch of these in on the dude and take him out. But for the most part, it, if you miss your shot and you don't kill the group ahead of you, and now you got a fucking retreat or some shit, like, I don't know. I just do not like this launcher, but that's me. Uh, it hits the ground, then it bounces off, and then it explodes. And then we have the Vulcan Flamethrower, which probably in the very new future will get nerfed because you can just stack fire damage and straight melt dudes um let's see it's a flamethrower with incredible range and in be very careful when using this or any of the other explosive weapons in intense or above difficulty other than that, I'll um, give you some of my favorites. As I said, for the heavy, it's the smart gun, the RPG launcher, and the Vulcan. But I know when to use my heavy and when not. I've never hit anybody with the flamethrower. And I've only hit one friendly fire hit with the RPG launcher. If you're killing dudes with that, I don't know what to tell you. Just don't play it. Use the smart gun. That's what you do. Um, so the handgun... Definitely the Type 95 Combat Pistol. Um, I do like the Kramer too, but since it's the same type of gun, I would definitely take the Type 95 Combat Pistol. And probably still, if I wasn't going to take that, it'd be the Type 78 Burst Pistol. Uh, that's my type of play. Uh, high rate of fire, DMRs, burst rifles, higher damage, but higher accuracy. I, I like those type of weapons. Fast firing sniper rifles or one shot sniper rifles. As far as the shotgun goes, uh, Type 76 Auto Shotgun. These are my picks. I feel these are the S class weapons of the game as well. Pump Shotgun as well is incredibly beast. Other than that, probably the double barrel would be my third pick for the close quarter weapons. And, I mean, the incinerator is interesting. Um, it does come in handy. You, you can use it and have a lot of fun with it. As far as the SMG goes, um, I didn't really play with the SMGs too much, so I'm not going to even pick one um, as a favorite. I'll let you play with them both if you like uh, SMGs and decide for yourself. Just, um, I'm an auto shotty type of guy. Either that or a very strong pump. And now for the assault rifles, I mean the post rifle starting rifle is actually nothing to sleep on. It's a pretty good rifle, especially due to its max ammo, fairly good damage, fairly good reload time, fairly good fire rate. It's just that overall in the middle with no, it doesn't have anything that really shines besides its high ammo pool I would say and high magazine. But overall, it's, everything's on the higher end of the stats. It's not necessarily, in all categories, the highest, but uh, it's a pretty good overall uh, rifle for the automatic right now. Obviously, the M2, well, for me, the M4283 sniper rifle, as I said, I like sniper rifles that one-shot. It's not going to one-shot everybody, but it does the most amount of damage. And the Twilight V4 really has a decent rate of fire for a DMR like I, I'd like this gun Th this gun you can stack some damage real quick with it highly accurate uh, very manageable recoil and if you put uh, stability perks on then like no recoil 
And I like the M41A3 burst rifle, but that's also because I strafe and I spam a lot of shots. So, I mean, I'll shoot 50% plus accuracy and 80% 90 if I really try. But I don't really want to try. I want to strafe more and have some fun. With the Grupa, with the ammo pe uh, max ammo pool, you're going to have to land your shots or you will be running out of ammo before ammo boxes on many occasions. So those are all the weapons currently in the game. My favorite weapons in each category. Oh, and to get to the point of how you obtain these weapons. So the ones not obtainable in the store, some of them you'll be able to get as a reward for beating campaign or potentially horde missions in uh, standard difficulty. I believe it's just campaign missions. Um, but I haven't played much for it. You can definitely get his reward uh, in campaign. And there are other weapons that you will need to be on intense. There is the slightest chance that um, you could get those other weapons I'm saying that are only obtainable on intense, intense on standard difficulty. But I did like some hidden cash farming. I've been locating all the hidden chests just about done with 3 and 4 right now. Just making sure I got them all. And I've beaten so many standard missions and when the game wasn't allowing for connection and didn't get any of the guns. And all the guns that people said that you had to get on intense. Once I started going all intense missions, I got them right away. So the chance drop rate on intense missions seems to be about maybe 1 out of 10 mission completions got one. I got none for a few games and I got one didn't get one for two games and I got another one back to back games so keep beating those intense missions and you can unlock the rest of the guns currently there are 31 guns in the game there are more to be released on September 8th and um, I hope that helps